Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to your 16th Bootstrap 3 tutorial and in this video we're going to dive into some tabs and pills. Wow. Alright then guys, so when I say we're going to dive into some tabs and pills, I don't mean we're going to get off our faces on LSD and ecstasy. Uh, what I do mean is that we're going to create some mini navigations that Bootstrap provides us with. Okay, so the way we do that is by first of all creating a UL list like this. I've already done that. Then I've got some LIs within it and there are links in that. So the idea here is that I'm going to offer some training in each one of these different kind of areas. Pretty cool, right? So to make this look like a mini nav, we first have to come to the UL tag and give this a class and the class is going to be nav. Now that doesn't do an awful lot. It just kind of gives it some base styles, um, this hover effect and spaces the links out a little bit. We have to combine this class with one of um, several other classes either nav pills or nav tabs to make it look a bit better. Now I'm going to show you nav tabs first of all. So I'll just combine it with nav hyphen tabs. Okay. Now looking at that it doesn't look great. It just looks like a horizontal navigation with a line under it. Brilliant. But the whole idea here is that we can apply a class to one of these. And this is where the magic happens of active. And then voila, all of a sudden, this becomes like a tab box, right? So we could have a box of content down here, and then we could click on each one of these. And when we click on one, the tab becomes active, showing this thing around it, and the content changes here. So that's pretty cool. Now what I'm going to do, because when we click on one of these at the minute, it doesn't become active as such. I'm going to add a little bit of crude JavaScript or jQuery down here so that we can add that functionality. And so you can just see it in action, all right? So I'm going to say jQuery and then we're going to go after the nav element and then the li tags within it because we're going to attach a click event to each one of these li events and we want to say on click fire this function right here then in this function is where we can control uh, either taking away this active class or giving it all right so the first thing we want to do is take away the active class from any li so when we click on something we're going to take the active class away from all of them all right so to do that I will say jQuery nav li dot remove class and then the class I'm going to remove is active all right and then after that I will say this dot add class active all right so when we click on one first it's going to remove the class active from all of them then this the one that we click on is going to be added or rather given a class of active all right so let's see this now when I click on something maybe we have to save and refresh so when I click now there we go you can see that tab becomes active pretty cool yeah now the other one we can do is nav pills and this looks slightly different so if I click on one now you can see it becomes a different color pretty cool right now um, we can do a couple of more things with this we can say nav stacked and that, oops, I put a dot in there for some reason. That is going to stack them all on top of each other like this. I don't like this as much, but if you wanted to, you could have them just a little kind of navigation, say yay wide, and uh, do it that way. Or we can do nav justified, and that is going to make them the same width going left to right. And it's going to take up the whole kind of space on the, uh, the page in the container, right? Pretty cool. And we can do the same with nav tabs. That works just the same. So when I click over here now, let's just get rid of that blue box. Okay. Um, now they take up all the space as well and each one is equal in width. All right. So that, my friend, is how we create tabs and pills. Um, in the next video, we're going to take this one step further and we're going to look at the nav element itself to create a fully blown menu system. I'll see you guys then.